Hi, fire signs. It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your week ahead for the singles. So we're just going to see what comes up for the fire signs. This would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We're going to start with one of these, and we're going to get one of these. And we're going to use this deck right here. This is for the next seven days, okay? So from the day that you watch it, seven days ahead. So say you watch this next week, seven days ahead, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what do we got? Singles. Singles reading. Ooh, the Empress. If you are the male watching this, this is who you're headed towards. This is a woman, okay? If you are the masculine watching this, this is who is going to come into your life, or this is who you are dealing with. If you are the female, this is the energies that you are taking on. You are vibrating very highly. Um, you are looking really good. And it's like you're going through some sort of renewal right now. Um, everybody can see your beauty. Everybody um, can see that you're going through some sort of transformation. You're healing. And you're bringing miracles into your life. Okay? Beautiful. A lot of growth going on. And you're going to receive a reward. You're going to receive a reward. Whether that reward is coming this week or you're actually, you know, dealing with some pain this week, you're going to get some sort of reward because the Empress delivers a miracle, a blessing. A blessing is coming, male or female. A blessing is coming. If you are the male, you are going to be blessed with uh, something new male or female okay a blessing is coming let's get one of these and i th and i think that you guys have gained some compassion through you know your strength your gentleness with yourself The compassion that you have had for yourself is bringing you this miracle. It's because you've found that strength to allow growth. And now you're going to receive a reward. You are. It's a big one, isn't it, for you guys? Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You know, to give birth... You can't, you can't push it or anything. It comes when it comes. When it is meant to come, it will come. Don't push it. The, now, I'm going to tell you about the Empress. You guys have all heard it before, especially if you've been watching me. Do not chase. The Empress doesn't chase. If you are the male, you chase her, okay? The Empress waits to be chased. She doesn't do the chasing. She knows her worth. She doesn't settle. She does not involve herself in third-party situations because she knows her worth. She really, 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 really knows her worth. She's experienced enough to not play any games. So if you are the woman watching this and you are chasing a man, you are not the Empress. If you are the man watching this, this woman is waiting for you to come and get her. Because she is worthy. And she knows that she is worthy. Let go of control issues. Anybody that involves himself in a third party situation doesn't know their worth. Just saying. Especially if it's, I mean, when I say, when I'm talking about this kind of third party situations, because there's all different kinds uh, of relationship, you know, where there's another partner, that person doesn't know their worth. They don't. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Don't try to push it.
new love. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. It's coming. Could be a Taurus or a Libra. Especially if you're the male dealing with a female. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Week ahead. Gonna have a, a new beginning. A new beginning is coming. It is. But you can't... You don't push it. You know, and that's a thing with fire signs. Impulsiveness. Uh-uh. You can't push it. No. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, week ahead for singles. Birth of something new. That's what I keep hearing. And we got you got something new coming in. Do you want it? Don't worry about that one. It's reversed, thank God. You know, it's time to take that mask off, right? What kind of mask, right? What mask? Is that what you just asked? What mask? You ask yourself. You have the answer within you. What mask are you wearing? What mask? Everybody's wearing some sort of mask, right? Maybe they're trying to protect themselves from new love. I mean, that's usually why people control situations to protect themselves. Anyway. Week ahead. Woo! You definitely got new love. But if you don't, you got you to gotta have faith in it. You have to believe. You may have to change your thoughts, change your ways. You have somebody that is coming into your life that is probably pretty perfect for you. And they're being brought to you from this angel right here, which this is, I think it's probably Raphael. I'm not sure. Could be Gabriel. I don't know which one it is. Anyway, this angel is bringing two people together. You're going to come out of this time of suspension, this time of limbo, this time of waiting. But you got to have hope and faith. That's a problem here. Yeah, you got to come out. You got to come out of your shell. And you got to let go of your fear of rejection. There's multiple opportunities. The, and especially, I mean, the Empress has so many options. She really does because she knows her worth. Everybody wants her. Nobody wants the side check. Just saying. They don't. She's not worthy. She doesn't know her worth. So, so because she doesn't know her worth, then they're like, oh, man, she does, I don't even want her. They want the empress, the one that knows her worth, the one that is confident, the one that is self-assured, the one that really is wise enough to wait for the right one, to wait for the blessing. And this is somebody who has been enlightened, right? The light is going to be shown on a new partnership. I'm telling you what, the loneliness that you have endured has made is, is, has brought you through some sort of awakening that you needed to go through for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe to let go of control issues. Maybe to let go of a third party situation. Whatever. Maybe you needed to. This is wise. Maybe you needed to get wiser. Who knows? Who knows? Either way, we definitely have a new love connection here. There's no doubt. Ooh. Somebody didn't investigate, they didn't do their homework, and they got themselves in, into an abusive situation, and now, shit, shit. But now they've been enlightened, thank God. They went through that period of healing because they didn't do their homework, they didn't make a wise decision, they w they'd had their time of introspection, and now it's like, the light is coming back on.
Somebody is coming out of this period of loneliness. I'm telling you what. And you're headed towards a new lover. But you got to work hard in, in believing. I mean, seriously. If you don't believe, I mean, your thoughts really do become things. I'm not kidding. But you can't manifest the wrong one. So I'm going to just throw that one in there. You can't manifest the wrong one. God's not going to let that happen. If it isn't meant to be, it's not meant to be. So anyway, somebody needs to put in more effort to have hope and to believe. Believe in blessings. Believe in wish fulfillment, yes. If you wish, if you make a wish, you can't put a name on it though, so stop doing that. Wish on, you know, receiving... Uh, the perfect match. That's what you say. You know, I wish for my perfect match. I wish for my soulmate. Don't put the name on it because that's trying to control it. No names. Surrender to the surrender to the universe. There you are. Don't look very happy, huh? It's time for a new approach. <sighs> Smile. Be happy. Be proud. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of the mistakes that you've made. There's nothing to be sad about. You have grown wiser. You have. It looks to me like you're about to trot off in a new direction. Even though, yeah, you've been through something sad and unhappy, whatever, you're still very attractive, you're still very vibrant, and you have a lot of strength. And people see, people see how how noble you are, they do. You have a lot to offer, don't forget it. Yeah, you may have got, not done your homework and invested in a situation, you know, that was, with somebody that was using you. Somebody was using you, but it looks to me like you're about to head in a new direction because you want more. You've been enlightened. You've been enlightened. I think that you know, you're ready to let go of a situation that was really unhappy and discontent, unrealistic, dissatisfying. And it's, this is letting go of the past hurts. Don't bring it with you. S smile again. Seriously, turn that frown upside down because you got somebody else. It's time to stop hanging on to somebody that made you feel like you're never gonna find love again that's not true that's not true you're gonna find love again you absolutely are you just had to go through some sort of healing period because somebody abused you in some way I mean that's what this is there's been some sort of abuse here you got to come out of that, that mental trap that you're not good enough or that you did something wrong or whatever the case is. Whoever this next person is that's coming into your life, they're going to be very nurturing. They're going to be very nurturing. They're going to hold your hand. They're going to be perfect for you. They're brought to you from above. And they're going to put in effort. And they're going to help you to have faith. Okay? They're going to help you to heal. You haven't completely healed yet. You've done a lot of healing, but you're not completely healed yet. This is love heals. Somebody is coming in and they are going to help you to heal. But you have to be confident. You have to smile. You have to have faith. 
you have to realize that it was all part of the plan. Let go of those past hurts. Stop hanging on to the pain. You have a better option, and it's coming. It's coming. Let's get three more cards. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have been dealing with a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or another Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Virgo. We have Gemini. We have Aquarius again. We ha there's there's lack of wish fulfillment here. Um, with somebody that was kind of maybe verbally or mentally abusive. Somebody that kind of like used you. And maybe you were putting in all the work and now it's just like you got to let that shit go. This next one is going to be bring balance and harmony to your life it's going to be equal okay this is an equal relationship where it's just easy it's really really easy you're not gonna have to do all the work you're not gonna be alone you're not gonna be alone it's gonna be two instead of one but you gotta change your mentality that's for damn sure Ten of Cups reversed. Interesting. You gotta let go of that past relationship that you've that really hurt you. Okay? You do. That's over. This person that hurt you, it's over. And you have an opportunity for a new something brand new. You have to realize that it's time to be happy again. You can't, there's no there was a it, the five of swords reversed, it was a lose lose situation. You couldn't win with this person, whoever it was, the one that used you, the one that didn't really want a relationship, or they didn't want to put in effort anyway. They left you feeling like you wanted more, and they left you feeling down and out, like you were doing all the work. Well, I'm trying not to swear here. You, you're going to have some sort of reunion with somebody that you have known before. This is the truth. It's a soulmate connection. But I don't think it's somebody from your this lifetime. Maybe. It may be. Maybe somebody that you know right now and it's going to reawa reawaken memories of love. It's going to make you remember what love is. Now, this could be somebody from your childhood. It could. But this is not the past lover that hurt you. I'm going to make that really, 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 really clear. Because I know that it's not. This Six of Cups is not the past lover that hurt you. So get that out of your head right now because that is not the case. I know that it's not the case. This is somebody that you have known before. Maybe in this lifetime. Maybe in another one. Maybe it's somebody that you went to high school with. Or even grade school. Or somebody from your hometown. Or somebody that you knew in a past life. It's somebody that you have known before. It's a soulmate connection. And it's a blessing. But whatever you do, don't try to push it. Let it unfold naturally. Let it go. Go with the flow, okay? It's time to be happy. It's time to let this person take you by the hand. It's time to let go of those past what hurts. This person's going to help you to heal. And you're going to help them to heal. It's going to be mutual. You both have been belittled and hurt by another person. And now it's like, it's time. It's time for this new relationship and it's time to let go of the old one. For real. You got somebody new coming in. It's a true blessing. Have faith. Take it slow. Put in effort to have faith. Put in effort to believe. Believe in blessings. Because that's exactly what this is. An opportunity is going to be looking right at you. Don't let the past deception
control this situation. This person is not the one that hurt you. Good luck.